Jerry, you there? Yeah, I'm here now. How many square feet is your plant? 145,000. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah, right on. Okay. So um, now Peter's going to point it to the whiteboard. He's going to tell me where we're at. The, the biggest issue was um, we had to slow down the paint shop to seven feet a minute. Uh, and we had to go to every three carousels. Okay. So tell, tell me, it's the product? It was the product It's mix? the product. It's around 107 inches long. They have to go in diagonal into some of the heat, heat tunnels. Um, I did some pictures, but I didn't post them up yet. It, it's just that, uh, and we did all the right things. We did all the ones first, we did all the two second, and the last were all the threes. Uh, but this was a, a challenge that we didn't really anticipate that was going to affect the paint shop that bad. Because uh, someone has to literally stay in the heat tunnel to watch out so it doesn't knock each other down. And there's a frame that it gets slid onto. Oh, I see. So mm. they're around 100 and... Basically 109 inches long. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the countermeasures, what you did, uh, considering that you knew this was going to go sideways on you here. So 60 is what you thought, 33 is what you got. Think about those numbers and tell me a little bit about why. I was just focusing more on the assembly aspect because they're the ones that were behind. Right, so you thought the bottleneck was going to be assembly, not paint. It was the bottleneck at that time. For Friday, um, uh -huh. we didn't have a lot of EUs available for paint, so that's why we had um, the standard or the assembly come in on Saturday. And then it shifted to paint yesterday because we tried to do every carousel. Uh, we had some damages, so then we did every second one. Then we found out every third one we is a perfect fit because um, we had one person babysitting it. Usually yeah. we don't babysit in a heat tunnel to well, watch I'm all so, the... Well, I'm so glad you did. Otherwise, we would have had more damage, right? That's correct. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, so how many items were were defect, let's say? Or just two. Were, just two. Okay, good. And then we addressed it. That's so nice to know. Um, so we caught it quick. Yes. Okay. Uh, who caught it and how did they catch it? Um, it was Paint Shop and I believe Cindy and Kerwin were the two. Mm -hmm. And then they decided to say, okay, we have to angle it on the pad. It cannot be going perpendicular. And then we, we have to monitor on one heat tunnel and then do the same on the other heat tunnel. Nice. So from that point on, they were like right on top of it as soon as they noticed problems. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's so good. Okay, so first of all, compliment Cindy and Kerwin. Compliment them today. Okay, I will. Just say, George knows what you guys did. You stayed on top of it. That was awesome. Um, uh, very good. So give them a pat on the back. Can you go get all of that to happen right okay. now? Think about it for 10, 15 minutes, get the math done, come back at 8.45. idea now of what our standard was, what we expected to do, versus what our actual is, so that Tim can have a, already a pre-understanding before we get to the job close of whether we're going to make money or lose money on this. Uh, I have to document something for him. I'll do that throughout the whole job itself. It won't be just on... Okay, can on we... When can we have the documentation on paper? Uh, what day? Once everything's complete. So, by the end of tomorrow, salvage should be complete, and then I should provide that for Tim. Okay, so... Thank you. Uh, can you bring it to the meeting, please? Yes. Thursday. Yes. So, what's going on there? Okay, I'm on Yeah, there. I think that's the best plan, but um, look it over and come back Thursday yeah. with the finalized version. Okay. All right. George, what do you have? Okay, um, all is good on my standpoint. I think Peter and I did a good meeting this morning. I think, Peter, why don't you talk about how it's working, you know, on a 15-minute everyday scenario. We've only done one day so far. Yeah, it was good. It was just a little quick 15-minute little webinar, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just continuing the process, uh, seeing where I want to be, where the challenges that I face in the future, uh, where, I, where I see myself and focus on a company with more challenges. So it was good. Uh, it's nice to continue the process still have George there to integrate and stay on top of you, I guess, because it's important to keep that sort of dedication in your self in life because it's easy to fall back. So it was nice. I'm looking forward to continuing it. Okay, and the other thing is, Jerry, uh, 
this morning didn't have numbers. I wanted him to come to the meeting with numbers, and I think he did a good job this morning. When, when do you think we'll be at level three with like a scorecard, you know, like doing the audit? We, we know we have zones now, uh, but we should, for level three, we should be at 60 out of 100. So when do you think everybody in every zone will score 60 out of 100? Next two weeks, we only have two days each. So I would say the first week in January. Okay, that's good. Let's do it. These guys are telling Doug that they made 38%. I run my report, which kind of captures all the labor, doesn't, like, it has to be vetted out, but it shows 22%. Thursday, we got a webinar. I, I invited the guys to Jeff Liker's webinar on visual management mm -hmm. at 7 a.m. And 7 a.m., they can get the team together. They can see a webinar, visual management, what it's about. It's what we don't do, and we need to do it desperately, so I want them educated on it. So, you know, if you can push them, that'd be great. Sure.